So, second video of my speaker. I've now given it an undercoating and some filling. And uh, it's starting to come, well, it's starting to look something. As I said in the previous video, that the two drivers were there, they weren't. It was my just air of me talking. The spaces are there. So they're basically these are the spaces for the drivers minus the access panel. The driver on this side faces outwards. The driver on this side faces inwards. And apparently they're connected out of phase as well. Although the exact electrics on it are not my department. It's a friend of mine who knows infinitely more about it than I do. So here we are. So I've kind of retro styled it, kind of 70s-ish thing. I've curved radius all the edges here, here, and all the way down, and also the bottom. I've also put it on a plinth. As you can see, I'm not sure if you can quite see it, not the white one. This section underneath here, which I angled, so you get a nice curve that runs into a diagonal. The axis panel will go in here. This bit of oak I've inlaid and there's a slot in that that locks in and I've got some steel plates which I'm going to fix in the sides and maybe tap some threads into so we can screw directly into them. So another fill, another sand, probably give it three undercoats, two top coats which will be sprayed using the Makita random orbital sander which i have to say is amazing also got it connected to a hoover which is activated when you turn on the tools and i'm doing this not in a workshop as you can see this is my hall of my flat and it's not really a great environment for making loads of dust and i shouldn't be due to that next video is to come <laughs>